Hi, welcome to this um, new setup. It's built with uh, Arco Linux B, this uh, deeping desktop, but it could been, have been easily been Arco Linux D. And I'll use this video for an article in uh, arcolinuxd.com. It doesn't really matter if it's a D or a B. The D is coming from an ISO and then installed it was with scripts, and the B is coming from scripts creating an ISO. The end result is the same. You have an Arco Linux deeping. Now, this is one of our looks. We can make it a little bit nicer. Let's, so this is about tweaking and showing you stuff inside. So it's an, um, a teaser, uh, information, something like that. Opacity is set a little bit like this. So we have a nicer um, way to view our terminal. So this is... Um, Deeping and Mutter or Deeping Gala as Windows Manager, Droid Sans Fonts, and we're in VirtualBox. As you see, it's about one gig that it's uh, consuming without doing anything. So the desktop has uh, surprised me in that sense that it's quite complete. It has a lot of applications, nice to look at. This is our menu, but this is our menu as well, right? This is great. And this can be greater, but this can be small. And it's going to be small, like this. So it's all good. Everything is working as should be. We've uh, installed extra OBS. So we have uh, edited our packages dot both. In sense, when we were Arco Linux D, you would add it in your scripts. Um, I was just thinking about efficient mode. How about this as a look? It's all possible. This is deeping. This can be your way of looking at things it can be like this again or like that again and in the end we can have this long panel and then we do see here our uh, wallpaper selector variety from which we can see if there are any nice new ones coming from desktop or .co yeah well i don't know what is nice that's very very personal anyway so wallpapers enough there is also the wallpaper here set wallpaper display settings corner settings so there are possibilities to do things up here and um, well it's all fun and games <laughs> really because this control center is so packed with well the basic stuff really um, nothing special but everything just works you know like uh, the one thing that surprises me is the boot menu so I posted a image online that we can just change grub so when you boot up it's all black and these two li white lines you can actually theme from within from um deeping itself drag an image in there this is a sky with uh, some stars in it it will use that but you can drop your image that you have drop it in here and it will apply it so there are some nice stuff and uh, the music that plays when you run okay at some point in time music really uh, starts to well but it's nice you know the first impression it has music everywhere everything you click and so on so it's it's nice but the effects can be killed somewhere and theming is here so we can have our our dark theme if we want to and our study icons will change down here so the study mono icons are apply immediately the one that's actually great is hello dark which is actually creative for deeping so i'm gonna leave this one on so this is what we get so it's it's um, a beautiful way to show you guys hey maybe you sit, should spend some time on it we have different things that i've never looked into yet so deeping file manager the music the movie the screenshot the terminal we've just seen it screen recorder voice recorder but there are other things like uh, cloning. I'm pretty, I'm very interested in what this is, a deeping clone. So is it something like file, file um, clonezilla? Is it that way that we clone a disk from A to B at two SSDs, clone it, or two partitions, clone it, or clone it to an image? So is this Norton Ghost or? So interesting stuff, interesting stuff. So we need to spend more time to it after holidays because these will be my last things before leaving on a holiday. 
but there is also the deeping boot maker put an ISO in there what will it do will it burn it on USB on DVD I have not tried yet so it's all new and that's the fun that's what Arc Linux wants to do give you the freedom to choose your own desktop and then learn 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 have fun and enjoy the system you set up you made and that's what why I think Arc Linux B is better in the sense that when you're acquainted with all the applications you want to work with then you put it on the ISO edit your packages and then uh, burn the ISO and have fun so there's a quick tour there's lots of more things to discuss and for me there's lots more to learn um, so it's really gonna be awesome learning this desktop environment and um, well I hope that you like what you get and enjoy Arc Linux and please spread the word. All right, cheers.